we know about earthquakes and sexual relations, the elements of analysis in this study are divided into two groups. The three groups composed by earthquakes and their consequence, and the second group is composed by consensual sexual relations between adult persons and their consequence. We know that in some cases, the combination of a group of moments and uh, the, a group of moments due to a high energetic earthquake and a vulnerable building has, as a consequence, the total collapse of the building, as in this case, in Lorca, Spain, in 2011. On the other hand, we also know that in some cases, the combination of a other type of group of movements due to a high energetic couple in a sexual relation and a suitable environment has as a consequence, yes, as you can imagine, the total collapse of the couple. Now, about movements, what do we ideally expect about the movement of a building uh, during an earthquake? In this uh, video, you can observe three models uh, of buildings. They are fixed to the same base, and according to the moving, they have different reactions. In this moment, uh, the higher uh, model that represents the high building uh, has the more significant movement due to the fact that it's reaching their resonance conditions. As you observe, the other uh, models remain almost without any important reaction. Now, the movement of the features of the movement on the base is changing, and now uh, the model that has the most important reaction is the middle height uh, model. Then, in the real life, uh, we expect that during an earthquake, the buildings remain outside of these resonance conditions in order to avoid uh, significant damage. On the other hand, what do we ideally expect above the movements of a couple during a consensual sexual relation? <laughs> I, I, I would like to show you uh, a video. But but I'm sorry, I need my job. <laughs> but let me tell you, the resonance during a sexual relation occurred when the favorite wave of movement of one member of the couple coincides with the favorite wave of movement of the other member of the couple. So we expect that the couple reach the resonance condition. <laughs> now, after a building was moved with a high energetic earthquake, what a soul uh, do we expect? Well, we expect that the building will stand without an important uh, physical damage. However, uh, in some earthquakes, uh, have the capacity to uh, produce the collapse of some buildings. For these reasons, uh, the modern seismic uh, codes include procedures in order to be able to design new buildings with the capability uh, to withstand uh, big earthquakes. On the other hand, after a couple move with a high energy, energy during a consens consensual sexual relation, what result do we expect? Well, as you can imagine, we expect that the couple has enjoyed the sexual relation, but the important thing is without physical damage. Well, of course, there are exceptions. <laughs> so masochist relationships and masochist relationships. But remember, even in this case, there are limits. The damage must be a slight. If not, you are breaking the law and affecting seriously the integrity of the other person. What do we ideally expect about the duration of earthquakes? Well, we expect earthquakes with a short duration because we want to avoid damage. However, we don't have control of the duration of earthquakes. So we need to be uh, prepared to do uh, appropriate response when a new earthquake arrives. For instance, uh, we need to have practice in evacuation procedures to be able to evacuate buildings like this one, etc. Um, on the other hand, what do we have to expect about the duration of consensual sexual relations? Well, it depends, but in general, we expect that this sexual relation has a long duration. 
Fortunately, unlike earthquakes, in general, the couple can control the duration of sexual relations. But, similarly to the earthquake case, the preparation is fundamental. <laughs> For instance, we need to an appropriate place in order to avoid interruptions, etc. Well, let me show you some examples of the negative consequences of the earthquakes that we want to avoid. Well, we want to avoid injuries to the users of the buildings. We want to avoid physical damage to the buildings and, of course, to valuable contents of the buildings because these contents are very important. Now, examples of negative consequences on uh, sexual relations that we want to avoid are an unscheduled pregnancy or getting a sexually transmitted infection. So this is a, a other example of important data. Uh, during one day, uh, 11 March of 2011, occurred an earthquake of magnitude 9.0 uh, that triggered a tsunami. Uh, both events caused more than 15,000 deaths in Japan, so uh, it was the costliest natural disaster in history. So, uh, eventually, uh, earthquakes can contribute to uh, generate great negative consequences to the global economy and to our global home. On the other hand, uh, during 365 days, the last year, about 940,000 uh, pets per people die on HIV-related illness worldwide. So, as you know, most commonly people uh, get or transmit HIV through uh, sexual behaviors. So, uh, sexual relations performing in appropriate ways contributes to increase uh, the negative consequence for the couples, but also for the whole society. Then we can contribute to reducing the negative consequence of future earthquakes in different scales. For instance, in a personal scale, asking about the structural safety of the buildings that we use, or etc. And in an institutional scale, we can continue uh, computing maps of seismic risks of the buildings of the cities. Uh, we can continue developing computational tools to communicate to a wider uh, segments of the population or knowledge about uh, earthquakes, and uh, we can continue performing research projects uh, to improve our knowledge about earthquakes and uh, seismic risk. On the other hand, we also can contribute to reduce the negative consequence of future consensual uh, sexual relations uh, in a personal scale. For instance, we can contribute to divulgating the appropriate use of condoms Etc. and in an institutional scale, we can increase the efforts to perform more research projects about the virus HIV, etc. Then, earthquakes and consensual sexual relations are events that can change our lives in a few seconds or minutes. So, we need to be prepared. Thank you. Thank you.